Hi guys, so welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing another one brand tutorial featuring CoverGirl. So for as long as I can remember, CoverGirl has been that OG classic brand. They've been around for so long and actually me and CoverGirl go way back because when I was in eighth grade, I used to use their single bronzer. I don't even think they make it anymore. It was super orange, it was super glittery and I loved it. I used to put it all over my body, all over my face and just bronzer, like no foundation, no concealer, just bronzer and I just thought that was the look. So I've been using this brand long before YouTube and since then they've upgraded so many of their products. They have so many new products that are amazing and they also did go cruelty free in November of 2018. So they've gotten a lot more exposure and they've really did a good job at just really expanding their products that they have. So today I wanted to update you guys and do another full face because I love a lot of their products and I feel like everything that they have is like $12 and under. So we love that. And I know this is another drugstore video. My last video was a drugstore video. I apologize that they're kind of like back to back. My next one brand tutorial will be a high-end makeup tutorial. So let me know what high-end brand you want to see. I'm thinking Too Faced, but let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely grab a snack and subscribe if you have not already. And that's it. Let's get into it. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna do my brows as always. I'm using the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I have used this for like over a year. I'm a big fan of it. Talked about this in a lot of drugstore videos. It's really, really great. And mine is in the shade Rich Brown and it matches me perfectly. So I kind of like outline them and then I will fill them in just a little bit, like the outer part going towards the tail and then I just fully through them and then that's it. So easy. Really, really great. So I love this one. And then I did get like a fresh one of their pomades because the one that I had was dried out, but this is their Easy Breezy Brow Pomade. This is an exact dupe for a pomade from Benefit. I can't remember the exact name of it, but this is like honestly identical packaging, formula, everything. It even comes with like a little brush right at the top. So if you're ever traveling and you don't have an angled brow brush, this is really convenient. It is super tiny, but like it gets the job done. So this is a really tiny brow pomade compared to most, but I feel like it's really hard to actually go through a pomade and hit pan on it like it takes me a really long time so like this is this is good so I'm gonna take this and just fill in the rest of my brows this is like a fresh pomade so it might look a little harsh on the brows but we're still gonna make it work <gasps> oh my gosh hold on it's a little too dark so as I'm filling them in I'm just gonna spoolie through them there we go Okay, now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna jump into the True Naked Sunsets palette. I've actually used this before and I love this palette. Why do you think? Because it's warm neutrals. And this reminds me a lot of the CoverGirl, <laughs> CoverGirl, ABH Modern Renaissance palette because it has like those similar orangey red tones, super pretty. There's mattes, there's shimmers. And overall, this is just like a really cute palette to have just because it's so little and compact. So I am gonna start off, actually, just kidding. I'm gonna start off with a bronzer because there's no light transition color in here. So I'm gonna use the Serving Sculpt palette, which I'm gonna use later on on my face, but I'm gonna use this bronzer right in here as my neutral blending shade. Everybody always asks me why I use colors like this in my crease, like to start off. It's honestly just personal preference. If you like more cool tones, you could use like a more cool tone brown or you can use something different. I just personally love warm tone shades and I feel like they just help me to blend everything the best. But again, that's total personal preference. So then what I'm gonna do is actually go into this color right here, which is so beautiful. It's like a matte orange. And I'm just gonna also run that right in my crease. And I know I say, orange weird I say uh, like with an a orange instead of orange everybody always tells me it might be a PA thing maybe a Philly thing I don't know sometimes if I like realize I'm doing it I'll say like orange but like in general I'll be like oh like orange I need to name an eyeshadow that in the future maybe hopefully Ooh, these blend really nicely. I love this palette and they have different palettes like this This isn't just the only one they have they have like a more like softer brown one They have like a colorful one. So lots of variety I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'll probably end up mixing some of this shade as well I'm gonna just kind of work that right on the outer crease A 
look at my hair you guys it is literally flipping up like oh my gosh i can't stand it and i'm gonna take a little bit more of the orange color and just run that in the crease so pretty i love it very warm but we're gonna add a little glitter pop some winged liner you know you know I love these tones. Then I'm gonna take this matte cream shade in the palette and I'm gonna really pack this on. Anytime you do a matte like this, it's gonna look a little powdery, but then what you wanna do is just take your blending brush and just kinda blend out the edges. I just want a small little pop, just a little bit of a gradient in the inner part. Just a little bit. I'm not gonna do a shimmer or anything on the lid just cause I'm gonna do some glitter in just a minute. Then for the fun part, I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Glitter Eyeshadows. I forget the exact name of them. I'll put it right here somewhere, but these are so pretty. They have so many different colors. The shade number one is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna just swatch it for you. It is just like a really pretty like taupe shade. It's not gonna be super intense like a Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter Shadow, but I feel like for the drugstore, it is a really good option. I think it is really pretty. You can see it does sparkle and I love this for all over the lid or some glitter liner which is what I'm about to do right now so to do this all you're gonna need is a really tiny little brush this one is just like from Amazon it's just like a random Amazon brush kit that I have it looks like this and it's going to kind of fit the eye perfectly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my brush directly into the product just like this and then I'm gonna do a little bit of glitter liner right in this area Just like that. See, just a little pop. So pretty. This is definitely like, I feel like the best color. It's just gorgeous. This could be a really good prom shade. I love it so pretty right like it just adds a little bit of a pop but it's not like too dramatic or anything this right here amazing so now I am gonna do my winged liner just because I feel like this look kind of calls for it. it just needs a little something today for liquid liner I'm gonna use the get in line liquid liner this one is in the shade major matte black which this is major key right here like you have to get the one that says major matte black because it dries down to a gorgeous matte finish it's super black and I'm obsessed with it You see, it like dries down matte instantly. It's just, it's amazing. It's so, so good. Yay! Okay, it's a good winged liner day. I'm like really loving this look. Super cute, you know, with a little pop of glitter. It's not too much. I love it. So I'm gonna do lashes. I actually have this mascara that I wanted to mention from CoverGirl, the Total Tease. I don't like this mascara. I feel like a lot of their newer mascaras aren't really my favorite. I love the original Lash Blast Fusion. I just don't have that one on me right now, but it's like the one in the orange packaging. So I'm gonna just do, you know, mascara, lashes, everything off camera, and then I will be right back spirit fingers okay i'll be back <laughs> so i took off my earrings just because we are about to transform the skin so i'm gonna start off by priming of course i'm gonna use the skin smoothing primer covergirl has quite a few of these primers they have a pore minimizing one a hydrating one and then a mattifying one today i just got this one because it says it smooths hydrates your skin and it extends your makeup which is typically what i love in a primer so i'm just gonna put this everywhere I used this for the first time like two days ago and I really like the smell. I think it feels really nice on the skin too. It smells like hand soap and I really like that smell. I don't know. Something about CoverGirl products, like the scent of fresh hand soap from like Bath and Body Works. I love it. For foundation, this is one of my all time favorite drugstore foundations. I have raved and just talked your ear off about it, but it is so good. So this is the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Mine looks a little beat up because I have had mine for quite some time. I'm in the shade M10 and I absolutely love everything about this. It's just such a great long wearing foundation. I really like this in the summertime because it is a matte finish, but it really does last like through anything. 
I love this foundation because it does withstand sweat, really intense hot weather. I always use the example of my graduation party two years ago for college. That was such a long day and night and I had my makeup on probably for like 12 hours and it looked so good at the end of the night and it photographed really well as well. So I just, I'm a big fan of this foundation. I think it's great and if you have oily skin, I think you'll really like it. Plus the shade range is really great. I'm just kind of noticing I have these little tiny specks on my face from the foundation and I don't know if maybe it's because my foundation is old or expired does anybody else experience this it's so hard to see them on camera but they're like definitely they're like little tiny balls of foundation what is that? Okay, my foundation definitely could be expired because I have had it for a while. I mean, clearly you can see my bottle is very crusty. Maybe it's time I declutter my makeup and I get some new foundations. I mean, like it still looks really good. I just use like a powder brush to kind of wipe away those little spots on my face. I don't know what they are. I feel like it's because the foundation is expired. So decluttering is gonna happen this weekend. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the True Blend Undercover Concealer, one of my all-time favorites at the drugstore as well. Up until recently, I just started using a different one from NYX, but this has been my go-to concealer probably since like last summer. I love it, it's great coverage, and it's a really good dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just gonna use this one in the shade Buff Beige, and just pretty much apply this under my eyes and then blend it out to the high points of my face. I like this more than Shape Tape just because it's not as drying has a really nice creamy formula and the finish is just a little bit more natural. Love it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I know I kind of used a lot, but I feel like you don't need to use a lot to get really great coverage. So if you like less concealer, you can definitely still get that great coverage without using as much as I did. So something to keep in mind, but you guys know I'm extra. For powder, I'm gonna go in with the True Blends Loose Mineral Powder. So I actually used this before. I don't remember if I used this one or the banana shade and I wasn't obsessed with it, but I started using it again because I wanted to kind of like retest it out and I don't mind it with a brush. When you use this with a sponge, it looks a little bit too much under the eyes. With a brush, it's perfect. So I'm gonna just put a little bit right onto my lid and then I'm gonna use a little powder brush. This one's from Sephora and I'm gonna just press that down on those lower lashes. This powder flies everywhere. Like it gets in your hair, it gets all over the place. So something to keep in mind, but this is very brightening. It's definitely not like a natural powder, but it's not a drying powder. It does have a little bit of like a glow to it. Like it almost looks like, if you look at me up close, like it has some microscopic glitter in it. It's not chunky or anything, but it's definitely there. It does give your skin sort of like this glowy sheen. So it's not a totally matte powder, but you can see it is very brightening. So I kind of like to put it just right under my eyes, especially down my nose, above my lip, around my mouth, and right in between the brows. It's so microscopic though, the glitter. It's not gonna be really chunky. It's not gonna be super noticeable, but it's definitely there. I think if you have dry skin, you would like this powder. I can't say that I like it more than the Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f., but this one is pretty. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend. Let me not say CoverGirl. This is clearly a CoverGirl one brand look. Bad habit, sorry. Okay, this is their Translucent Fair Press Powder. It's just like a traditional press powder, and this is another product that I feel like is pretty good. A good powder to kind of just touch up with throughout the day. I'm gonna just take this and just press it in on my cheeks just to set everything so that all of my other products go on really smooth. I'm gonna do my lower lashes really quick, kind of finish them up. I'm gonna go back into the Sunset Palette and I'm just gonna take these two shades right here and I'm just gonna smudge those on the lower lashes for a little pop. I also have the Exhibitionist 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner. This one's in the shade Rich Brown. Just looks like this, just like a traditional waterline pencil and I'm gonna use this right on my waterline. Now for the cheeks, I'm gonna jump into the True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette, and I'm just gonna use the bronzer in here. I actually really like all three of these colors, but I'm gonna use something different for the blush and highlighter. I really like these palettes from CoverGirl. I just wish they had a couple different shades. They're so limited with this. I believe they only have like two of them. And I feel like the bronzers aren't very dark for a variety of skin tones, but the formula is really nice though.
Then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Peach Punch Blush. This is from their peach collection, which smells just like peach rings. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow Highlighter. I really like this one because once you get past the first layer, it's not a super glittery formula. And this one's in the shade Pearl Crush. So I'm going to pop that right on the tops of the cheekbones. I'm gonna give myself a little setting spray. This is the Look Lock Up All Day Setting Spray. I've actually used this before. This actually smells really good too. It smells like hairspray, ironically, but I like it. Now for the lips, you guys already know, me and nude lips, like I love me a good nude lip color, but today I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do a bold red lip color just because I just discovered this combo like a few days ago and I'm obsessed. It is so bright and fun and I think it's great for spring and summer. So I'm gonna start off with the Exhibitionist Lip Liner. This one's in the shade Cherry Red. So this is so creamy, really easy to work with on your lips. I just love this color, like I'm obsessed. I'm either like wearing nude lips or I'll wear like a bright red every once in a while. And then I'm gonna top this off with the Full Spectrum Matte Idol liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade Tyran 250. So that officially completes this full face of CoverGirl. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am very happy with a lot of these products, especially some of the newer ones that I like just started using. I especially really love this lip color. I mean, I'm so impressed with this. This lip liner is amazing. It is super creamy. And I actually really like this bright red liquid lipstick. I feel like I've tried this formula before and I probably wasn't impressed with it, but I like this color. And I like how it is a really comfortable matte finish. It's not too drying. It does have a pretty strong scent when you first apply it, almost like plastic, but it does go away. So if you can look past that, I think this is a really pretty lip combo. And seems to be pretty kiss proof for the most part, which I think is Amazing. The only thing that I really don't love in today's video is the Easy Breezy Brow Clear Brow Gel. And that's just because like I'm a tinted brow gel kind of girl. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of this formula too though. Um, I feel like there's other formulas that I prefer, but I mean, this is just the brow gel. So not a big deal. Elf has a good one. NYX has a good one. So, but other than that, everything else was really good. I did feel like it was like sort of weird that the CoverGirl foundation started balling up on my skin. I don't know what was up with that. I think this is just because it's expired and old. Let me know if you've experienced that. But other than that, I mean, it does look really flawless and I do love this foundation and here is a photo with flash if you guys are interested in how the powder looks with my iPhone I don't think it looks terrible it doesn't look amazing but it doesn't look terrible so I feel like the powder definitely looks a lot prettier in person versus in pictures and I love it with a brush versus with a sponge so yeah I'm not mad about it overall I think these products are great definitely worth trying especially the complexion products and this lip combo I'm very impressed with so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today leave me your go-to products from covergirl down below and let me know what brand I should do next thank you for everything I love you all and I'll see you soon bye